It's time for the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Each week, Trading Stocks Made Easy demystifies stock trading and investing so you can profit big. And now, here's the host of Trading Stocks Made Easy, the wealthy investor, Tyrone Jackson. Hey, everybody, it's Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor from thewealthyinvestor.net. That's thewealthyinvestor.net. How's that for a shameless plug? Anyway, I am super excited to talk to you today about what is going on in the stock market right now as of June 7th, 2024. What I love about this episode is you'll be able to look back and see if my predictions are correct. So let me make two points at the beginning of this episode. First of all, in the world of economics, the stock market is not the economy, and the economy is not the stock market. What do I mean by that? We could be seeing things in the economy that are extraordinary. Low inflation, low unemployment, everybody has a job. And when people have jobs, they tend to spend more money. Why? Because in the United States, the U.S. economy is two-thirds consumer-based. What does that mean? that things in this country run extremely well when everybody has a job and we're spending money. What the economy overall does is prosper when people have jobs. Now, there is a body in the United States called the Federal Reserve, and one of their major tasks is to pay attention to how well the economy is growing. So I call it like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You don't want an economy that is running too hot because that causes inflation, and you don't want an economy that is running too low because that causes recession. So the Federal Reserve's job is to kind of regulate the U.S. economy to make sure it is running smoothly and just right. Goldilocks, just right, right? Okay, if we're in the middle of a stock market that is thriving, which we refer to on Wall Street as bullish, that money ultimately trickles into the economy. But since less than 1% of the U.S. population actually owns stock, most of the money that's coming from the U.S. stock market that is then pumped into the U.S. economy is from the rich, right? So that means that most of your friends who don't own stocks directly, when the market is running at a high, they're not participating. Why? Because they're too busy trading time for dollars. And this program is all about getting you out of the rat race and getting you on the road to financial freedom, understanding the stock market, the economy, and all the variables that go around. So, Although I strive to keep all of this information succinct and easy to understand, it does have some complexity. So this is probably one of those episodes you want to listen to more than once in your car or at the gym, because when I explain to you what is about to happen in the economy and in the market, it is explosive. So here's the easy part that's understandable. The stock market is going to go higher from here. Now, what bothers my mind, my heart, and my soul is only 1% of the U.S. population is really going to be the recipient of the rise in the stock market because you have to own these stocks directly that are about to go exceptionally high. It will filter into the economy, but not everybody will benefit from it. So, for example, as many of you know, I was raised by a single mother, right? We didn't pay any attention to any economic information because my mother was like, I just need to make sure I have a job next week and the bills are paid. I always wondered, why are we in this position to begin with? Well, you see, my mother, as well-intentioned as she was, she had no financial education. Her focus was on survival. And I realized very quickly, survival sucks, Like, you don't get any great dinners out of it. You don't get tax deductibility in first class. You don't get, you know, to go to first class resorts like the Four Seasons, my favorite, by the way. I wanted a lifestyle that was like a wealthy person, and I wanted the wealth too. And one of the ways in which to change your entire life is to become a stock market investor. Unlike real estate, you don't have to have a big down payment of 
50000 dollars $500,000 to put down to qualify for a loan at a bank. If you have $5,000 or less, you can simply go to E-Trade or Charles Schwab, open an account online. It's much like opening a checking account, and boom, you have access to Wall Street. Why do I bring that up? Because we're in an economy right now that is thriving And it's been thriving so much that the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates to try to slow the economy down. Wall Street wants the Federal Reserve to lower interest rates to stimulate the economy and make borrowing money easier. So if you've ever gone for a car loan and you go for a car loan in this market, guess what's going to happen? You could be paying as much as 15% interest annually on the money that you're borrowing for that car. Does that make sense? Right. If you go to buy a house right now, most people aren't buying houses because interest rates could be anywhere between 7 and 10% on that monthly mortgage payment. So everyone who got in at two, three, four percent, they're not going to sell their home now because if they sell their home now, they're in effect opting in for a higher interest rate elsewhere. Now, if that house was an inheritance, of course, you would sell it because you keep the capital gains on the house that sold. The smartest thing to do is put that money in the stock market, learn covered calls and dividends, and you have residual income. So this high interest rate environment right now is slowing spending of automobiles and homes and real estate. Got it? How did we get in this position to begin with? Because of COVID. Now, if you live in an economy that is two-thirds consumer base and something like COVID hits the economy, the pandemic, what's going to happen? All spending slows. So... To keep our economy from collapsing, basically, the Federal Reserve stepped in and they gave out PPP loans and all kind of subsidies to businesses to keep our economy from collapsing because you wanted to keep your employees during that unprecedented period. Well, all that money that was pumped into the U.S. economy is also known as liquidity. All that liquidity hit the U.S. economy. It kept us afloat, but it caused a disruption in supply chains, like things that make it to the supermarket, like eggs and sausage and milk and butter, right? Because we had never seen anything like that before. And that disruption in the supply chain caused everything to go higher in price. So the Fed during the pandemic had to regulate the U.S. economy with policy they've never used before. So they pumped all this liquidity into the system. And then guess what happens? The system got overstimulated when we came out of the pandemic and everybody went back to work. Interest rates were low. Spending was high. But the cost of goods and services were also high. And that caused inflation. That's why you see high gas prices. And that's why bank loans are higher, uh, adjustable rate credit cards. So now the Federal Reserve is trying to reverse that trend to slow down the progression of goods, services, and things that you see on your shelf. Now, certain sectors of the U.S. economy, like retail stores, Target, Macy's, and otherwise, They're seeing the consumer now hold on to their money. So if you've been to a Target recently to stimulate spending in the retail segment, Target is actually lowering its prices for two reasons, because inflation is high and they want to get people in the stores again. So prices are coming down. But only in certain retail stores are we seeing that approach being taken. Why do I mention all of this? Because there's a tug of war, if you will, going on between the stock market itself and the data coming to us from the U.S. economy. In order for the economy to slow down, historically, you need people to lose their jobs. So there is slower spending. Well, guess what's happening in this economy? People aren't losing their jobs. Therefore, employment is staying high or normalized. And the stock market wants interest rates on car loans, bank loans, and home loans to come down. 
The Federal Reserve measures inflation on a monthly basis by a series of government data and statistics. So we've seen inflation over the last 52 weeks come down from 7% to where it is at 3.7%. And the Fed says, no good. We need to stop inflation and we will cut rates when the inflation rate goes down to 2%. Now, we've already slowed down the economy from 7% inflation to 3.7% inflation, and the Fed wants two. The stock market wants rates lower so business profits can go higher. Well, we're not really seeing that go on right now. So certain stocks in the stock market are rising and others are declining. Okay, so when you're a stock market trader and you're using a strategy like cover calls and volatility trading, guess what? Your volatility trades aren't going to work out as quickly, you know, when you buy the stock and quickly sell it for a dollar. Why? Because the market is waiting every single week for inflation data, government statistics. Therefore, it is not moving as fast as it would in the absence of uh, uh, lower inflation. However, most of the money, if you're following the wealthy investor approach that you earn, is going to come from cover call writing, two to three weeks, because we don't need high volatility in order for us to collect those premiums. At the same time that this tug of war is going on between the Federal Reserve and the economy and the stock market, there are companies in the stock market that are doing unprecedented things, and we're seeing incredible top-line revenue growth. And where is this growth happening? It's happening in certain retail stocks and in certain technology stocks. Stocks that are developing technology for artificial intelligence are rising the fastest right now. And I'll give you some more information about those stocks right after this. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? Then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. Okay, welcome to what is happening in the stock market right now, June 7th, 2024. Now, if you like owning stocks and you want to get richer, listen to the second half of the show because it's all for you. The new frontier in technology is artificial intelligence, in particular generative AI, because it creates a lot of data and new content. It's much more complicated than that, but I will keep it simple. So there's a company right now called NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA that has run up in the last year and a half from about $200 a share to where it is right now, $1,200 a share. And the board of directors has authorized a 10 for one stock split, which actually takes place in three days. Meaning those shares are gonna go from $1,200 a share down to $120 a share after this colossal run up. Well, if you're a shareholder in a stock like that, and it's gone from 200 up to 1200 in less than a year and a half, you got rich because $20,000 is now worth $120,000, right? $200,000 is worth over $1.2 million in a short period of time. What does this mean? Because a lot of people go, Tyrone, I really don't understand the math. It means that a substantial amount of wealth is being created because your house did not go from 200000 to $1.2 million in the last five years. But there are stocks that are doing that right now. So you see how the rich get richer? Because if less than 1% of the U.S. population owns stocks and those stocks are splitting, those people who own the stocks that are splitting are experiencing enormous wealth in a very short period of time. That's why I really want you to get in on this game because we're going to see more stocks like NVIDIA splitting 
reducing their price, increasing their revenue, and running up. So now is your time to go from working class to wealthy, if you're wealthier, to wealthier, if you're rich, to really, really rich. Why? Because of the appreciation on these stocks. Okay, so this is not where you bet everything on all of these stocks. You make sure that you own these stocks in your portfolio. Now, this is all a matter of public record. When those shares split, they're not going to be $120 for long. Now, as a trader, what would I do? I'd have one account where I'm holding shares and another account where I'm selling out of the money covered calls against my stock holdings. So I'm doing two things. I'm building wealth in one account and I'm generating income as a cover call writer in another account. But as it turns out, there's another company on June 26 that said, forget a 10 for one stock split. We're going to do 50 for one. If you are listening to this podcast, you are getting an education and you are learning what they didn't teach you in school. Now, you have to know that a 50 for one stock split is a thousand times better than a 10 for one stock split. And a 10 for one is extremely rare. What company is splitting on June 26? Chipotle. Now, those insiders in the market say, oh, these splits don't make a difference. But they do make a difference for traders and investors like you and I, because at the lower price, we can buy more shares. Now, Chipotle had some problems about five years ago in some of their stores where they found E. coli and a couple of other little um issues that have gone wrong that were public safety issues. But each store is individually owned and operated. So they corrected a lot of those storage issues, how they handle the meat, when the deliveries come in, what is frozen, what is not frozen. Because the premise of Chipotle is it's healthy food that's not quite fast food. And you watch us prepare your food in front of you, right? Okay. Well, the thing that I like about Chipotle is they're usually located within one mile of a major college or university. Why? Because college students want healthy, good-tasting food on a regular basis. Now, I could tell you this is the most important thing here if you want to understand the top-line revenue of the company, which is that Chipotle gets a substantial amount of money from almost every college or university because they become part of the college or university's meal plan. So if you have a child who's going to college and you opt in on the meal plan, you know, college kids get hungry these days, On that meal plan is usually Chipotle and a few other chains so your kid doesn't have to just go to the dining hall. They can get something that's a little bit more tasty. I tell you this from personal experience because I put a couple of kids through college, right? Well, the stock market has. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. So that means if Chipotle is compensated by colleges or universities for being a part of the meal plan, Guess what happens to food over time? The expense goes up. Therefore, Chipotle's revenue will go higher and higher and higher. That's why they want to add another two to 300 stores around the country, because in effect, they're in a partnership with every major college or university, and they're not just relying on the retail consumer to come in and uh, patronize their stores. Now, they're also putting in something they call Chipotle Lane so that you can drive up and place an order instead of if you've ever gone to one of the stores waiting in that kind of assembly line to get your sandwich. So they're trying to speed up the process of consumers getting in and out. The theory is if they speed up the process, getting consumers in and out, they may double the sales at a particular store because there's some people who don't go because they go, ah, the line's going to be too long. All of this translates into revenue. Now, if we have an economy, right, that has high inflation and heavy consumer spending, it's hard to get rates down. So those people who are financially educated understand that a rise in revenue at Chipotle and other retail stores means the stock is going to go higher you're getting richer from this economic state of circumstances that we're in right now. And you should feel really good and very excited about that. Why? 
because when I coach you on how to own stocks directly, you become part of the 1% of the people who get rich under these circumstances. So I hope you feel good about that. Now, sometimes when I'm doing the show, and I've been doing the show for, I guess, over 10 years now, a lot of people have made a lot of money. People say, I've made money from your program and I never even joined. Well, that's fine too. You've saved a couple of bucks because you didn't invest in a financial education by doing the online program or coming to some live classes in New York and L.A. That's great. Congratulations, you saved. But imagine how much money you would have earned if you knew how to buy leaps options on these stocks, both in and out of the money, and a compounding option strategy, which only I teach, which accelerates profit when stocks split, okay? So congratulations on being middle class and having saved a whole bunch of money during that same time that you've been listening to the show. You probably could have had a measurable amount of wealth if you really went for it and got that financial education. Now, you can do what you want, but one of the things I'm telling you is the people at the top, that 1%, they're going to get a lot richer And what can you do with your stock market profits? You can diversify by selling shares, buy a new home, upgrade your home, put the money from the stock market back into your home. So when your home ultimately goes in the market, it's worth more money. See, there's a cycle of wealth here that is in play, but only, only for those who understand it. Now, let's say you don't have millions of dollars to start trading and investing in the stock market. Okay, maybe you have $5,000. Well, you can take $4,000, open an account for you, and now is the time to take $1,000 and open an account for your child or your grandchild. Why? They have time on their side, right? So they have time to own Chipotle stock, NVIDIA post-split, right? So part of the Wealthy Investor Program is not just about you generating residual income for five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month. One of the principles embedded in the program is who did you help? Because you have the financial education, you know how to get in on these trends. And that four year old, five year old child will be the recipient of the stocks that you buy today. And when is the best time to pick up these stocks? on a stock split. All right, so now that you know what ticker symbol NVDA is, go look up a stock chart and notice how it's performed. Now that you understand that Chipotle has a 50 to one stock split, it is the biggest stock split in the history of the American Stock Exchange. What are you gonna do about it? You can't just sit on the sidelines and let it happen. You can't say those rich people and their money Why? Because the goal is for you to become one of them. The only slowdown I see in this market right now is that the stock market is not going to advance as quickly as it normally would because it's at odds with the economic data that the Federal Reserve is waiting for to lower interest rates. You don't have to worry about that, but you should know about that. Because in two to five years, if you can become financially free, because you understand how all of these dynamics co-mingle with each other and their relevance, the financial result for you in your life is a thousand times better than trading time for dollars. Yesterday's episode was a little involved, but let me tell you something. It is worth it for free. If you're getting this much value for free, imagine how much you would learn if you actually joined the Wealthy Investor Program. Now, I'm going to leave you with one prediction. Within six months, we're going to see a major company split its shares. That is three times the opportunity to move your life forward financially. Now, we're fine with the two that are going to happen within the next 30 days. But when that third split is added you will be able to change your life. And that's the whole point of me doing this show, is that you get the information, that you change your mindset. Remember, all the money you're going to earn in this lifetime is based on what you believe to be true. Well, if you believe that there are two stock splits that'll benefit you, a third one is even better. Hey, this is Tyrone Jackson, The Wealthy Investor, saying thank you for taking the time to listen to the show. Share it with someone you love. 
because the right financial education is everything, everything in this market. I'll see you at thewealthyinvestor.net. You've been listening to the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Be sure to rate and review our show on iTunes. While you're on iTunes, be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll automatically receive our next episode. 